Good morning, kindergarten friends. Happy Friday. Uh, I normally wouldn't want to do a lesson on Friday because I know you guys, you know, sometimes do fun things on Friday, but uh, I wanted to do it because I'm really excited to show you the butterflies. So if you were following along on Wednesday, it was day 21 and we had three butterflies emerge. Okay. And that's when we did the lesson and wrote in our journal. But later on in the day, another butterfly came out and I really got a good video of that. It's only about three minutes. I put it on my YouTube channel, but I did not do a lesson. And then later on, uh, when the wings were dry, I got a really nice little one minute video of the butterflies flying around. You could really see the wings. So um, if you haven't checked those out, just go to my YouTube channel and look at those. Uh, but today we're gonna do our last lesson. I may check in with you next week when I let the butterflies go. But today, um, before I show you the butterflies, oh, I will tell you the good news though. They all came out. Even the one that had fallen down from the top, you know, I taped it to the, uh, to the lid, to the top, and it came out and it's perfectly fine. So yeah, I was super excited about that. So we have six butterflies. So I'm just gonna make you wait a minute, okay? Um, I've been wanting to do this lesson before we look at the butterflies, and that is the body parts of a butterfly. You may think that you already know, but there might be a few that you don't. So parents, I, um, I found these on, I think this one I may have found on TPT, um, but look, look how many. It was so easy to find these on the computer, okay? Now I have heard from, here's a kind of a cutesy little one, worksheet. I have heard from some parents that um, you know, they don't have printers and things. So if you, if you don't, this is what I would recommend. I would say, just draw your own butterfly. Think about the body parts. So it's like any insect. It has a head. Okay. It has a body, but the body is broken up into, um, a, the top part, which is the chest and the bottom part, which is the stomach or the abdomen. This is actually called the thorax and this is called the abdomen or the stomach right? We know it has antenna. I also want you to draw a little curly tongue here and we'll put some eyes on it like that. And they really don't have a mouth like this, but we're making it cute. Okay. And then when you draw the wings, you're not going to just do one wing here and one here. Okay. There's a top wing. It's called the fore wing, and then a bottom wing It's called the hind wing. And then again, the top wing, oops, one handed again and the bottom wing. And then basically, you've got a butterfly that you can then later, I would probably draw arrows and label. So, so like this. All right, and then we could draw one here and right wing. Okay, now mine goes along with this. Now this one's kind of a complicated one. That's a lot of body parts that maybe we don't have to, um, if you find an easier one, that's fine. But I wanted to do this one. So the parts of the, butterfly. Let's start right here with the head. Okay. And then I would just, you know, look on my paper, look on the computer, H E A D. Okay. And let's zero in. You guys know what that, the arrow is pointing to antenna. Now to save time, I'm not going to go back and forth. Okay. But if you have that, all the kids have to do is just copy antenna and antenna. Those are like the feelers. They're kind of sensors. All right, uh, let's go here. So just like any insect, um, a butterfly has six legs. The thing is, is they're on the bottom of the body, right? And they use them to crawl uh, and land on the flowers and everything. They actually um, are, they're sensors also. It helps them smell the flowers. They don't smell through their nose, they smell through their feet. And they land on the sweet uh, flowers filled with nectar. Okay, so anyways, th these are the legs, okay? And there are six, even though, oops, even though they're underneath the wings, so you don't see them. There's my washer again. Okay, and let's go ahead and go. Here's one of the wings. This one is called the four wing. Oops, it's just like the word four. And then wing. And if you have a, a worksheet that just says wing, that's fine. And then this is the back wing or the hind wing. Hind just like an animal, a horse or a dog or a cat, they have front legs, the fore legs, and they have back legs, the hind legs. Okay, now remember this part of the body, the stomach, is actually called the abdo, 
men. Okay, and then the top part right here is the chest or the thorax. The or axe. And then this is pointing to, oh, the eye is good. Eye. And the last one right here I wanted to talk about is the little tongue. See the little curly tongue? It's called a proboscis. <laughs> this is, this is uh, Curtis had to help me with that. Proboscis, okay? All right, because I just couldn't pronounce it. It's P-R-O, pro, and then b a. Now we have a short O sound. S this proboscis. And the tongue is very important because that's how they get the nectar out of the flowers. Okay, so again, if you could find a little worksheet like that, I think it'd be awesome. And you don't have to do it today if you have a busy day. Maybe you could uh, find that and do it next week. And you know, this one has, it's a little easier. It doesn't have quite so many body parts to fill in. And then this one's kind of fun too because it has the words right there. And you're just labeling one, two, three, four, five, six of the body parts. So any of those I think would just be great. Okay, you guys ready to see the butterflies? I'm gonna put them over here. I'm so excited to show you. Okay, let me just put this up here. Oh, there's one flapping, flapping its wings. I don't know if they're boys or girls, so, okay. As soon as I put the camera on there, he stops. He doesn't wanna show off today. There's one, okay. There's another one over there on the other side, and I believe the rest of them are down here. I'm gonna just put this right on top of the uh, butterfly house. You can see I put some flowers and some greenery in there. And then that cup, let's see, let's see if I point right. Oh, you see it. There's a cup of water in there, but I also put some paper towel because if it was a full cup of water, they could land in it and uh, kind of drown. They probably wouldn't, but you want to be safe. So you can put some cotton balls in there. Um, and uh, I put sugar water. I actually use some stevia, which is a natural sweetener that comes from a stevia plant or a leaf. And I think that might even be better for them. You could also use Gatorade. Uh, I know Mrs. Curtis and Miss Mycroft and Mrs. Nicholson always use Gatorade, but for me, it's it's so sticky that if it spills and stuff, it kind of gets really, really sticky in the butterfly house. So I like the sugar water, it's clear. Okay, oh, here we go. It's really open, oh, spreading its wings right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I think we're gonna get the, there we go. We're gonna get the best video if I put it right in here. Isn't that beautiful? I put a picture on my Seesaw page last week, or I'm sorry, that was earlier on the week, I think it was Wednesday, um, of a really beautiful picture of the butterfly spreading the wings. You can really see how the wings, the pattern on the wings are symmetrical when they have their wings um, laying down. So I know it's probably gonna be hard to find all of them. There's one, two, three, he might be underneath the leaves. Four, five. Oh, here's one over here. It's really hard to get them all. I think I'm holding the camera upside down. And then I think there's one underneath the leaves, but trust me, there are six, okay? Isn't that exciting? We did so good. We got six there. That one's flapping its wings again. Six beautiful butterflies. I also wanna show you that I saved the paper that had the chrysalides. So all they are now is just a leftover, like I said, it's kind of like a wrapper. But I think it's fun to see because this is where those butterflies came out. And the one video I put on uh, my YouTube channel, you could really watch the butterfly pushing and pushing till it was all the way out. And then this is all that's left over. And this is a few little pieces of skin left over. Yeah, I get to throw that away now. Okay. Oh, they're really, they're pumping their wings in there. They're so pretty, aren't they? The butterfly wings are mostly orange. There's uh, some brown, white, and black on them. All right, I'm gonna push those off to the side. We'll take another peek before we go. And we're gonna write in our journal for the last time, boys and girls. Okay, let's just kind of review. We started our journal in April. We started, day one was April 16th. And we got the caterpillars when they were in the larva stage. They were only a half inch long. The next time we wrote, they were uh, at one inch. They had grown a lot over just a few days. And the next time they were still about an inch, but they were getting fatter because they were eating so much. 
This is day 13. That's when they had crawled to the cup. I thought that was so exciting. They were hanging upside down and uh, shaped like the letter J. This is day 15 when they made their chrysalides and they were all hanging from the lid of the cup. Okay, and this was the last time we wrote. It was um, May 6th and it was day 21. And after we did this, I thought, you know what, boys and girls? It took 21 days for those butterflies to emerge from the beginning. And that's exactly what it took for the chickens to hatch, right? So the life cycle of a butterfly is very similar to the life cycle of a chicken, right? Or, or the timing. And we weren't sure how long it was going to take because some of the, on the poster it said 7 to 10 days or 7 to 12 days. That was kind of a span, but it took 21 days. Uh, the other three came out, um, well, yesterday I was gone all day, and when I got home, uh, the last two had come out. I was so excited. Okay, now, I just to save time, I went ahead and set this one up. And boys and girls, I had told you to get six pages at the beginning, and I think this is seven. So we actually wrote seven pages. I may get another one, and then when we let the butterflies go next week, I, I might do one more page and just say we let the butterflies go. We'll see what they do when we let them outside, right? Okay, so today is day 23. The date is May 8th, 2020. I got to circle the butterfly stage and I went ahead and I just drew the six butterflies in there. The little cup of water, the little thing of, of flowers, and I put some leaves in there. Okay, well, we ended up with all six. So let's just start, start with we, a capital. I'm talking about all of us. We did this together. That was kind of a fun project to do while we're uh, sheltered in our houses. We, and I did get my stick, have, okay, you guys know half by now, right? Move my stick. Six, <laughs> my kids just did a lesson on the letter X. We've got a s, I, x, 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 six, and I'll also put it over here in parentheses. All right, butterflies. We've written this a few times now. It's B U T is but, okay? Another T, double consonant, E R, F. Oh, if I was just doing one butterfly, I'd put a Y on it, but it's more than one, so we put I E S. We have six butterflies. I am going to uh, put an exclamation mark. I could have put, we have six butterflies in our butterfly house. Let's see. They are flying. How about that? They, all right, the with a Y on the end. I think I can fit that in there. A R E. They are flying now. There's not much room for them to fly in here. That's why we want to let them go. And we can keep the, them in here. Um, butterflies will will live. I'm not sure the time span, but we could even keep them a couple weeks. But I don't want to, because it's best to let them go in your garden and they have room to fly around and find their own flowers, right? Okay, they are flying. Fine. How about let's do this? I was going to say they are drinking nectar, but why don't we combine those two sentences and with the word and? They are flying and drinking. Okay, I'm going to move down here because it's kind of a long word. It's a duh, er, dr, ink, I N K. And what's I, what's ing, boys and girls? I N G. It's a really good thing to know because. There's a lot of words that end with I-N-G, okay? They are flying and drinking nectar. N -k 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 -t -t -t. And then A-R, okay, from, and we know that, it's a sight word. From, we know the, I stopped using my stick because it, it's uh, faster if I don't, okay? But I am looking with my eyeballs to make sure I'm getting space. <laughs> From the flowers because I put flowers in there and the sugar water but since we have I have seen them on the flowers flowers I'm gonna use another exclamation mark now that was only two sentences but they were very long sentences I'm gonna go back and read it we have six butterflies that's a short sentence and I did put space didn't I okay the second sentence is a long one they are flying and drinking nectar from the flowers. This was so, so exciting 
Okay, I hope you are keeping a journal um, along with us. I know my class, I've had lots of kids send me their pages, take pictures of them. Even uh, Noah and Janelle, they had them hanging on the wall in order so I could see every single one. Uh, Ava's been sending me her pages every day. So thanks for that, guys. Oh, Jacob Kerber, wow, he did an amazing project out in his front lawn. I think he said it was some kind of a Zoom, like a science project. It was just totally awesome. So I really, that really made my day when I get pictures and I know you guys are uh, watching the videos. Here, let's just go, <laughs> there's my dog again. Sorry about that. Okay, I have to put him in the garage next time, huh? Romeo, stop! Okay, there's two. Oh, that's a close-up. Look at this one. Now, you know what? There is one poster I didn't get a chance to show you guys, and I might do that next time before I let the butterflies go. Because when their wings are up like that, it's like you taking your, your arms and raising them above your head and putting them together. It just means they're resting. Okay, that's how they rest. That's how they even sleep. Okay, and that's it. So, um, you know what? We could try maybe one more thing. Oh, there's three up here now. I know this is going to be a long video, but it's just so exciting, isn't it? Oh, I don't know why I must be holding them. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's one. It's really hard to do this. Okay, we're going to try something. Even if it gets out, this is a really nice one here. I'm going to try to, there we go. Okay, oh, calm down. Got it in my hand. Oh, there we go. That's a good ending to this video, isn't it? Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next week.